Hey, this is uh, Dan Kirsch uh, with Garfield Physical Education here in Sioux Falls. Um, got a new uh, volleyball activity that um, came up with here. Actually, I can't take full credit because uh, some of my third grade students kind of gave me the idea. So uh, this uh, activity is called uh, Hula Hoop Volleyball. Um, and the game works on uh, volleyball skills. We play this game with third, fourth, and fifth graders during a volleyball unit. Okay. Um, on the sit, what it is, you split up your gym in uh, to two teams. Okay. Um, the in this diagram here. Okay. This this would be a volleyball standard, volleyball standard, and a volleyball standard here. This white line represents the volleyball net all the way across. So obviously, I have three volleyball standards and a net uh, to get more participation. Um, and then the purple stars represents one team. The white stars represents uh, team number two. Um, and then these purple rings here represent hula hoops. And the green ones over here represent hula hoops. Now on the signal, uh, the team, they're trying to use the four volleyball skills that we've practiced and try to have their volleyball land in the opposing team's hula hoops. Um, so they can only use four volleyball skills. For instance, we do the forearm pass, uh, a set, uh, the overhand serve, and the underhand serve. Uh, those are the only four skills the students are allowed to use. Uh, they cannot throw it. They cannot lift. Obviously, if a student lifts, um, does an illegal uh, hit, um, and it happens to land in the hula hoop, this that point would not count. Um, same goes if a kid were to uh, throw the ball and or kick the ball and things of that nature, those points don't count. So on the signal, um, this student, for instance, this star here uh, represents a player, would go grab a volleyball, okay, using one of the, uh, the skills that they can choose from, um, would try and have the ball go over the net and land in the other team's, uh, oppose, the opposing team's hula hoop. Now, obviously, because the ball would roll, um, the way they get their point is if the volleyball bounces in the hula hoop one time and then happens to bounce out, that still counts as a point. So that's worth one point. Um, some other scenarios, uh, same thing goes over here. Let's say this player, the white team, grabs this volleyball, and obviously, let's say they decide to do a forearm pass, and they uh, hit the ball, and they hit the volleyball over the net and let's say it hits the floor first then bounces into the hula hoop that point that counts as a point as well and that's how I play it with my kids um, obviously if you don't want that to count you don't have to uh, kind of up to you in that regard and the kids keep going practicing their volleyball skills um, trying to score as many points as they want to in the time limit so for instance, I'll play it for maybe two to three minutes, have the kids come back, and then again, working on like character and honesty. Uh, we see on how many points uh, that each individual student um, on their team scored. Um, and then we add them all up again, so you can work on math skills in that regard too. And, and we see which team won that game. Um, and then it keeps going and back and forth. Um, Again, to modify the game for maybe your third grade students, obviously I would move the I would move the uh, hula hoops a little closer, uh, so it's a little bit easier for them for those kiddos. Um, I like to with my kids. I like to have it staggered as well, some short, some far, and things of that nature. Um, and so a fun little way of working on volleyball skills. Again. Some rules before I forget here. Uh, obviously, the kids cannot uh, run into the net, do illegal hits. Now, some other variations. Uh, I've had students ask me, well, can we block? You know, because obviously in a regular volleyball match, kids are able to block. Uh, that kind of depends on you and your kids. Uh, I, I only do that with fifth graders. So if this was a fifth grade class and this student wanted to block, he can, he or she can. But the one big rule I have is they cannot stand inside the hula hoops and they cannot stand in front of a hula hoop to block but they can move any other spot that they want to try and block the volleyball 
from uh, bouncing into the their uh, hula hoops. So um, this is uh, hula hoop volleyball. I will post it on my YouTube channel, and then I will also have a written description of the game on my uh, physical education blog. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it.